what's going on everybody so recently i was chatting with misfit printing about miniatures and fdm versus resin uh, we all know resins to go to for printing miniatures but they can be done on fdm but what i haven't seen is anyone printing miniatures on the bamboo labs yet so i bought a 0.2 nozzle i installed it i messed with the settings and i got this For how big it is, it is very high quality, but it was a lot of adjusting the settings, uh, it's a lot of failures, but I got it right, and I'm going to show you all the settings you need if you want to print miniatures yourself. Alright, so here's what I had to do to get a good mini off it. I changed it to a .2 nozzle. I'm using the textured PEI plate, although I'm sure it don't matter which one you use, they all work pretty good. And I will say I'm using the Soft Fever version of the Bamboo Lab slicer because of all the calibration tools it has up here. I ran a temperature test, I ran a flow rate test, and I ran a pressure advance. I will say I clogged the nozzle doing the flow rate test on pass 1 because it's a very big difference in flow rates on the first pass and it was enough to clog it. So after fixing all that I suggest skipping pass one and just going right to pass two because it's less of a change between the flow and it worked just fine after you run all those you got your filament settings here this over and the flow ratio ended up being the same and the pressure advance ended up being the same for this filament which is fantastic i did change the temperature uh it's running at 212 that that's what came up best with the temperature tower, so that's what I'm running there. Now, as for your actual settings, I printed at a 0 .08 layer height. Your default for the .2 is .1, but I said, hey, let's try it even smaller, and it worked just fine. I didn't mess with the line widths or the seam at all. Actually, I don't mess with. I haven't messed with any of these strength it wants you to have four walls that's what default was i didn't change it you probably could go to two i mean such a small model it don't matter you're usually getting one anyways didn't change the infill although i don't think there was much infill most of it was perimeters at that case which ended up working out pretty good all right so the speed settings is where i made some changes i essentially took every speed that was default and halved it. Um, I added this, but it didn't really matter because every perimeter is under one millimeter almost. And it turns out, if you want, you can actually half that again because I've had a few failures and I ended up turning it down to silent mode, which halves it anyways. So if you want to go ahead and do half of these values. Like I said, it's not a fast print like the Bamboo Lab is supposed to do, but it worked out quite well. Um, I did do slow down for overhangs, obviously. That should always be on. For acceleration speeds, I actually halved all of these as well. Travel, I don't think I touched because it don't matter. But you want to slow down the speeds because being such a small print, you want to give the layers time to cool before it puts the next layer down. And the best way to do that is slowing down all your speeds. For supports, I used a tree support and I put them slim. It actually worked out really nice because all of the support I did, I could essentially pull off and unwrap it. It was loose enough. It was just like pulling a piece of string out the whole entire way. It was fantastic. So if you want to try and print minis yourself on the Bamboo Labs, I will upload the configuration. It'll be in my link tree in Google Drive or Dropbox or one of those. I'm not sure which yet. And I would also like to say thank you to Misfit Printing for giving me the idea to actually attempt to get a good mini out of this printer. Catch you later.